Howdy Hoot Tube Nation. Did y'all miss that intro? I know that I did. Oh my God, I don't have a, hello? <laughs> Wow, I definitely lost my voice this weekend. Um, I know that I just posted a video literally yesterday, but this is an emergency meeting. I'm going to combust. I had to get in front of the camera and just talk to you guys because I don't know what to do with myself with this information and with all of these feelings. Is this the Peru vlog? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why would it be? That's not done yet. I swear it's coming. I swear it's gonna be worth it. I promise you guys it's gonna be the next video that I upload. I just have to rant about Taylor Swift. <laughs> and Travis Kelsey. They're consuming me. I just have to get it off my chest. I can't wait until I'm done with this blue vlog. So I figured I'm gonna use this time and be productive and actually dye my hair again. So I'm just trying to get my hair the same color as my extensions, which isn't even that much of a difference. So I just really wanna fix that tonight. Oh my God, I sound insane. I'm gonna try to sound as normal as I can. But first, thank you so much Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. So for me personally, I like wearing a different scent with different seasons. And now that winter is here, I'm really trying to ditch my light, floral, fresh summer scents. I need something warm and cozy. I just want to smell like a warm, cuddly hug. That's why I'm so excited to show you guys my new fragrances from Scentbird. And what is Scentbird, you may be asking? Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try a new designer fragrance, or more than one, each month for just $17. And with Scentbird, you can sign up and receive up to three travel size scents monthly. With each fragrance, you get a 30 day supply. So you can actually test out your fragrances, just try it out before committing to a full size bottle. And there are over 600 designer brands that you can choose from. They've got Prada, they've got Gucci, they've got Versace. And they also have some niche brands for you hipsters, like Confessions of a Rebel, I love that one. DS and Durga, and way more. They have perfumes, colognes, they have unisex options. And I'm gonna show you three of the ones that I received, and I'm so excited about it. First of all, this is what the travel case looks like. There's a lock and an unlock button. So when you unlock it, it opens up like like this, voila. This one is called Sugarful Kissed by Michael Germain. I am a Michael Germain stan, okay? I love everything that that man does. And it smells exactly like it sounds, Sugarful Kiss. I feel like I have warm sugar all over my body. It's warm, it's cozy, it's a cuddly hug. This is called Reflect by Good Habit. It smells like crisp air, like crisp winter air, and I'm going on a walk. This just gives me wintertime comfort. And there's some floral scents in this one, but it's not too over overpowering where it smells like summer. You know what I mean? And then last but not least, look at this case, by the way. So hip. <laughs> I love it. This one is called Peach Fields by Skylar. And I'm gonna be honest, this one does smell indeed like a peach field. It's not really giving winter cuddly vibes, but it still smells exquisite. Who doesn't love the smell of peaches? And make sure that you guys click the link in my description below to visit Scentbird's website or click the QR code and use my code SB55 for 55% off of your first month at Scentbird. That's only about $8 for your first month. Thank you so much Semperd for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. I don't know what I'm doing. Is this gonna turn out good? Possibly. I made sure to not wash my hair for a few days so it's nice and crispy. Like there's probably pieces of hot dog in my hair from Vegas. Oh my gosh. I have it. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I want to get a perm so bad. Hello. I look sick. I'm living for this. I look like a lion. Oh my God. All right, so let's talk about it. Basically, Travis Kelsey is consuming all of my thoughts. All of it. <coughs> oh my God, this is so strong. He is now in my dreams. I'm not kidding you. Back to back dreams and I don't know how to stop it. I didn't even know that I was capable to feel this way about a celebrity in so long. Like I haven't felt this way genuinely since, I mean, I guess Brian. Okay, I act like this is like such a crazy revelation where I'm having this moment where I'm infatuated with a celebrity man, but no, this is pretty common. But this time, it's not even just like a surface level crush on a celebrity, it's forcing me to look inward. It's forcing me to reevaluate just my taste in men in general. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I was never a Swifty and I'm not even sure why. I don't know, her music is just, isn't really my style. 
and I do love that song. Like I do really enjoy some of her songs. I've never gotten to a point where I'm like, I'm a Swifty, you know? I like really sat back and I thought about it and I was like, Taylor has dated every single one of my crushes. When I look at her roster, like her boyfriend roster, I was like, yup, 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 yup. Like, I was like, wait, I kind of get her. When she was dating Maddie, I was like, okay, obviously she just needs someone to like, she just needs a rebound right now. She just needs to have fun. Girlie's having fun, okay? Girlie just wants to have a good time. And Maddie always is up for a good time. Although like a lot of the Swifties were not happy with that, it made sense to me because I know Maddie and I'm just like, yeah, this tracks. He would be like a great rebound, like fun time. Whatever, say what you want about him. I like understood Taylor. I did agree with the Swifties as, as like, okay, Taylor, this is not your guy. She'll, she'll figure that out, you know? Then in my head, I just kind of like stopped thinking about Taylor for a little bit. And then like the news about Travis Kelsey coming out, my ears perked up a little bit because I was like, eh? who? Like, it was just rumors at this point. That clip of the podcast where he like made her a friendship bracelet was circling around and I was like, oh, that's cute. You made her a bracelet? Yeah, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Not right now. And then I remembered, I was like, wait, Travis Kelsey. Oh my God, he was in the Super Bowl last year. Oh my God, I was definitely at the Chiefs Super Bowl after party and I definitely witnessed him dancing on top of a table this year. And I just had no idea who he was. I didn't actually go to the Super Bowl. We just went to the parties and stuff. I remember like watching him dance on the table. It was him and Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback. And I was like, they're fun, they're lit. But that's all I thought about. Why is it just those two that are up on the stage with the chain smokers right now dancing? And everybody was telling me, they were like, girl, that's Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes. They're like the best duo in the NFL. Like what the fuck, get with it. And I was like, oh shit, my bad. I honestly just thought that they were really endearing. I didn't even know that they were like the best football players in the NFL. I was just having a good time watching them because I was looking at Travis and I was like, he is such a fun time. And like, he just looks like a goof. Like he just looks like a goober. He's funny. Time. And people were saying like, girl, him and his brother were in the Super Bowl today. Did you not know that? And I was like, no, whoa, crazy. Didn't think about it after that. I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. But I didn't really care. And ever since I saw the podcast clip of Travis talking about the friendship bracelet that he made for Taylor Swift at her show, I was like, oh my God, that's the bitch that was dancing like a goober on stage. Holy shit, he was so cute. Wait, I kind of love this. I'm kind of rooting for this. And so then ever since that, I was just kind of like keeping tabs, but not really like letting myself get flustered because I don't know if it's actually a thing. These are just rumors, right? Oh my God. And then every single week, pictures just kept coming out. There was footage of Taylor at his games and I was absolutely flabbergasted by the shit show that this all was. How much attention the NFL was giving it. Just like all of the psychological aspects of it all. How does Taylor feel in this environment? Like in that little box with all of the wags in there with Travis's mom. And then it's cutting to her like every 15 seconds during the game, but she looked like she was having fun. So I was like really appreciating that she was in the present moment. But then I was also thinking about Travis and I was like, is this gonna mess his game up? Nope, he was killing it. I was also thinking about that feeling of, it took me back to high school when I had a home volleyball game. Oh my God. Everyone starts coming into the gym and like sitting in their seats and then you see your crush. And then just the adrenaline that fills inside of you and you're like, oh my fucking God. Tunnel vision is just you and the ball. And you're like, oh my God, every move I make my crush is watching and then you just end up being really good because you're just so like in it. I was like, wow, Travis, I so get that. And that's why he was doing so well at his games because like his crush was there. Not only his crush, but it was Taylor Swift. The biggest artist in the world. I was like, wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. I was like giddy. I was giddy watching all of those clips. I was giddy at watching Travis make these touchdowns. Walking in zone there. A touchdown to Kelsey.
I was giddy. Even though like I'm not even a Taylor Swift stan. Well, now I fucking am. Now I fucking am. I can't even deny it, guys. I cannot even deny it. I was like nervous for her. Every single time it would cut to her like talking to Travis's mom, I was like, oh my God, what are they talking about? You got this girly. His mom probably loves you, like be yourself. Like I was like, why the fuck? Am I freaking out over this right now? And then it got to the point where I started tuning in on Sundays to watch football. I was recording the games just because I cared about Travis Kelsey. I was tuning in every single Sunday to see how he performed, to see if she was there, to see what NFL was gonna do. Like I was just in it. I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in it. It just feels like a movie. It's so weird, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like no one's ever seen this before. I feel like no one's ever seen this level like of intensity. It's just so perfect. Although I don't know much about Taylor Swift, I know that a lot of her relationships went awry. And I know that her type is basically just like dreamy, like musicians, like really deep artsy men, whimsical, like deep guys that are like super emo. And I get her because I'm the same way. I feel like this is the first freaking time where she's talking to a guy that's just so fucking secure with himself and he's so confident and he is the best in what he does so he's not emasculated. He doesn't feel threatened by her. He doesn't feel intimidated. He already has to go through like haters and like press and stuff in his own right. So he already knows how that is, but this is just on a bigger scale, but he still knows how to deal with it. It's just gonna take a little bit of adjusting on a bigger magnitude, but he, he can do it. He's a team player. And also since Patrick Mahomes is the quarterback, perhaps the best quarterback in the NFL right now, Travis is used to taking the back seat. He's used to it. He's used to letting Patrick shine and also letting his other teammates shine. Travis is not the star of the show when it comes to what he does, but he's still a star. And so he still knows how to like appreciate the limelight. So him being with Taylor is perfect. Him being with Taylor is perfect because he gets to let her shine and he's used to that energy already. It is not threatening to him. He is happy about it. He likes to see people succeed because he's already on a team. Oh my God, I can't, can't do it. You guys, me and Caitlin went to Vegas last weekend. We were at this really fancy dinner on Saturday. So fancy, so nice. And Caitlin is a huge Taylor Swift fan. She has been her whole life. I was on Twitter and I was updating Caitlin in real time what was happening in Argentina with Travis showing up to her show and being there and like all the interactions, him dancing and vibing to the songs. <laughs> Her doing the lyric change and both Taylor's father, which is so important, and Travis saw and heard that lyric change and they just both spiral and the entire crowd just spiraled. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. I saw that on Twitter and me and Caitlin were just losing our fucking minds in this restaurant. Oh my God. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that I'm losing my mind about Taylor Swift. I never thought that there would be a day, truly. And I'm not even just saying that to sound cool or whatever or like different. I just, I just could not believe that I was like literally going on Twitter and typing in Swifty updates. <laughs> I was going to at Swifty Updates and refreshing that. I was going to at Tavis News, which is Taylor and Travis put together Tavis News and refreshing that too, because I could not get enough, bitch. Just seeing this man dancing. Dancing the entire fucking time. Was he on his phone once? Nope. And how long is that show? Three and a half hours. He wasn't on his phone once. Did he sit down at all? No. He cracked open a bag of chips and danced. And chat.
chatted with her dad and the dad was wearing a chief's lanyard. Give me a break. That, her father is so pumped. Her dad is probably like, finally, finally my daughter brings home a man that I have something in common with. I can finally talk to Taylor's boyfriend about something that I know and care about, which is football. Like fucking finally. Cause all of her boyfriends have been actors and musicians. I saw this one tweet and this one girl was like, oh my God, Scott Swift is probably so stoked. He doesn't have to talk about method acting at the Thanksgiving table this year. <laughs> I was screaming because I was like, yeah, bro. Because her dad is also an Eagles fan and Travis's brother is on the freaking Eagles. That Thanksgiving dinner is going to be exquisite and I'm so happy for them. I'm so happy for Scott. I'm so happy for everybody. Oh my God, when I saw that video of him standing there backstage after her show, with his hands behind his back, just waiting for her to get up. Oh my God. Like she didn't even have to get off stage and go find him and try to figure out where he was. Uh-uh. He was right there. He was right there. Right there, waiting. She didn't have to go looking anywhere, bitch. Oh my God. It made me want to cry. And the way he was smiling. the way he was smiling. And I'm obsessed with Travis standing there with his hands behind his back to let Taylor call the shots of how she wanted to proceed with how public she wanted to make it, how much PDA she wanted to like show off in front of all these people because she knew the people were gonna be recording. So respectful. That's a man. That's a man. That's a man. That's a man. And you know what? I've come to the conclusion that a lot of women are freaking out and so invested in this relationship and supporting it so much. Like bitch, even Christelle, who doesn't give a flying fuck about football, texted me today and she was like, can we please watch the next Chief game? Because I randomly really care about Travis Kelsey. He's all over my For You page. And I was like, yeah join the club girl i feel like women collectively are just coming together and we're just in awe i think that it's just very rare this isn't like an i hate all men and all men are the worst type of thing but it's like i feel like we're just so used to men disappointing us we're just not used to seeing men like be able to put their egos aside and do the fucking little things to make their woman feel good it's dead ass just the little things that travis has been doing that women around the world are just like yup yup Yep, yep, yes, yes. That's all that we want. Women don't ask for much, okay? <laughs> we just wanna feel safe and respected, bitch. We wanna feel like they're supporting us. We wanna feel like genuinely good about ourselves. I was listening to this one theory and it's like, when you are doing something where you're on your highest vibration, like you are completely just like shining your light. You are doing something that you are so passionate about. You're in your flow state and you're just in your highest vibrational state, correct? And in this case for Taylor, it's her on stage performing her music. That's her at her highest vibrational state. We want our partner to feel proud of us and we just want them to like admire us and be happy for us and look at what we're doing and be like, wow, that's my bitch. And not feel jealous or emasculated by it. A man that is just so openly secure with himself and just so openly stoked to be with someone as big as Taylor Swift. Like he doesn't hide it. He's not even like embarrassed about it. Like he's vibing, he's dancing, he's singing along to her lyrics. Like he's not even ashamed to admit that he already knows her music. Like he is a Swifty. And I love that he doesn't give a fuck to show that. In those moments, a lot of men would be like, wow, that's like really lame. Like you're a pussy. Ooh, like cringe. But he's just like, this woman is amazing. And that's how I feel. And that's how literally most of the world feels about her. She's the number one artist. I am the luckiest man to be with her right now. And he's expressing that openly. And I feel like women around the world are just like, holy fuck, finally, someone gets it. This is awesome. 
Also another reason why I think people are so invested is because this situation is literally the female gaze. This is what the female gaze is. Honestly, I really hope that this like changes the perception that men have about how they should view the women in their lives or their partners. I know that that sounds really drastic, but girlies, we've ne we haven't seen this before from a man in so long on this scale. And it's literally to a T. Like Travis is doing legit everything that women have been asking for and he's displaying it he is such an inspiration i'm obsessed with travis kelsey my god he's my lock screen can't stop thinking about him he's in my dreams you guys he's in my fucking dreams i'm a fucking swifty and i don't give a shit i don't give a shit i'm so happy for her i'm so happy for her my entire For You page is just Travis. It's Taylor and Travis. And I don't mind. I don't mind. We are watching a literal romance movie play out in front of our eyes and the girlies need this. And I can't even imagine being a literal Swifty, like an actual Swifty that knows all of her music. Can't even imagine how overwhelmed you guys feel. Cause I don't even know her music, but I'm just like, this is the most beautiful shit I've ever seen. So I can't even imagine how you Swifties feel. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hair out. I've been ranting for way too long. Okay, bye. All right, y'all, are you ready? Are you ready to see the result? It's blow dried and I put my extensions in just so we can see how much my hair blends with the extensions. That's why I did this in the first place. I think we did pretty good. It's just a subtle change, nothing crazy. I'm really happy with it. But yeah, basically long story short, Travis Kelsey is that bitch. Also, I watch his podcasts every week. What? Why? They're literally sports podcasts. Sometimes they talk about other things, but it's mostly a sports podcast. Oh, I listen to every single second of it. I love listening to it. I do my makeup listening to it and I enjoy it. I'm smiling. And he has this podcast with his brother, Jason. And Jason is eating this shit up. He is so funny. He's the older brother. He is just giggling and gaggling at this entire situation. How does it feel to officially be uh, the guy on the Chiefs? <laughs> you mean karma? Karma. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I had no clue. Definitely when I heard it come out of her mouth, uh, still shocked me. And uh, yeah, you could tell in the video. I was like, it was pretty. Oh, sh she really just said you were that. so All shocked. Right. You left Scott hanging. <sighs> Scott's over here looking for a high five. Yeah, Mr. Swift. I apologize, big guy. Oh, man, <laughs> I missed that. I never miss a high five too. big high five guy. They have an entire segment on their podcast now where they teach Swifties how football works. <laughs> what? And it's actually so helpful. So helpful. I'm like so excited to listen to their podcast every week. It's so bizarre. I don't know who I am. My dad is flabbergasted. I'm like texting my dad about football now. My dad was like, honestly, Sarah, whatever's gonna make you watch football, I'm here for it. My dad loves Travis. My dad calls him cute. My dad thinks he's a doll. Like this is just a win for everybody. <laughs> and we're all just excited about football. And I think that this is amazing. And yeah, basically the conclusion of this is just women are just realizing that we've been accepting the bare fucking minimum for so long. And here comes Travis Kelsey raising the bar. He's the new standard. And not every guy can be on that level of status and money and shit, but that's not even what I'm talking about. It's just the basic behaviors that Travis displays. That's all we want. These men just need to be confident in who they are and just treat us with respect and like be proud to be with us. What the fuck? Travis Kelsey is such an example. I'm obsessed with him. And now that I get to know Taylor Swift a little bit more throughout this journey, she's amazing too. Like she's darling. And she's such a great role model to the girls. Like. These two are perfect. And this is gonna sound dramatic, but if they break up, what the hell, what are we gonna do? Like if they're not end game, oh my God, I'm such a Swifty. If they're not end game, what are we going to do? What's going to happen? First of all, what's gonna happen to Travis? Ah. Oh. I can't even think about that. No, I don't even wanna put that negativity into the universe because no. 
no like but it doesn't get much better than this right so like i just need this to work period that's why i love travis because i think that he can handle it i think that he can just like push it off his shoulders i know that he's really excited about this i'm acting like i know the guy i just watch his podcasts <laughs> but i genuinely feel like i know him ew the parasocial relationship that i have is like i have to check myself right now I have to check myself right now. At the end of the day, they're just human beings. <sighs> Everyone is just rooting for them. And this is just giving everybody hope. And I just cannot wait to see how this journey unfolds. I'm stoked to be a part of it. I'm stoked to feel like I'm in it. I'm like in the organism. I like feel it now. Like after the Eras tour, I was like, oh, I kind of get it. No, I, I feel it now. Oh, bitch, I'm refreshing the Swifty updates. <laughs> like, I just have to know what's next. What's next? I'm a slut for a romance novel, and this is what it is. So, yeah. Basically, I'm a Swifty. I get it. I get you, bitches. I understand. I'm rooting for them, obsessed with them. And hey, Travis, do you have a cousin? Do you have a cousin? Okay, I'm ending this video. I, I think I need to go like meditate or something. Maybe I'm gonna read a book. All I wanna do is go on TikTok and listen to people talk about it. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Again, if you guys didn't watch my last video, I just posted yesterday. So go watch that too. I talk about sending a guy a nude and it went terribly wrong. So yeah, watch that. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram. It's Sarah Bask, uh, uh, two A's at the end. Let's keep this party rocking. I'm loving it. Love you guys. Next video is going to be Peru. Promise. Love you. Also, Harry Styles is bald. Goodbye.